Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to discuss another problem. But before going forward, if you have not liked the video, please like it. Subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. So without any further ado, let's get started. Problem is shortest path visiting all nodes. It's very easy problem. Just a new concept we will learn. So let's see the, what the problem is. We are given an undirected connected graph. So undirected means like there is no direction between the edges, uh, between the nodes and connected graph means that there is a edge, like there is a path from every node to every other node. So there is a path, uh, n nodes labeled from 0 to n minus 1. So what does that mean? That means uh, is that like if there are 5 nodes that is n is given to 5, n is given as 5, then there will be uh, 0 to n minus 1 node. So 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. That is till n minus 1, these will be the nodes. 0 node, 1 node, 2 node, 3 node and 4 node. So like this is 0 node, 1, 2, 3, 4. You are given an array graph where graph of i is a list of all nodes connected with node i by an edge that is this graph i is your edge sensi list this graph i this graph array is given so this graph array is this what does this mean so this is a 2d array right if you do indexing 0 1 let's do one thing 0 1 2 3 4 so the, what does this graph array tells us this tells us that this tells us that see for this i let's say this is i is equal to 2 means this 2 node is connected with 1 3 and 4 so see 2 node is connected with 1 with 1 3 and 4 right similarly if i is 4 so 4 is connected with 1 and 2 1 and 2 so see 4 is connected with 1 and 2 if i is 3 so 3 is connected with only two fine so this is your edges and see uh, list kind of thing this is given to us so we are taking this example here so now what we need to do is uh, return the length of shortest path that visits every node we have to uh, we have to find the length of the shortest path that visits every node you may start and stop at any node you may revisit nodes multiple times and you may you reuse edges so we have to find the shortest path which will cover every node and we can start at any node we can stop at any node we can again and again visit the same node multiple times and uh, we may not reuse edges uh, we, uh, we may we can reuse edges right uh, so let's see this example first let's uh, draw this graph so we have uh, 0, 1, 2 and 3. So what will be the shortest path? So one path could be 1 to 0, then 0 to, see 1 to 0, then 0 to 2, then again from 2 to 0, we have to go back, then from 0 to 3. This is one path. Uh, here we are starting from node 1. We are starting from node 1 what we can do is we can let's say start from 2 node so from 2 we will go to 0 then from 0 we can go to 1 then from 1 we have to come come again back to 0 and then from 0 we can go to 3 so in this we are starting from 2 similarly we can also start from 0 as well so from 0 we can go to 1 then from 1 we have we have to come again back to 0 then we go to 2 then from 2 we have to again come back to 0 and then from 0 we can go to 3 right so see how much over over here what is the path so in this case uh, what's the distance like we have to return the length na? length of the shortest path so what will be the length here 1 2 3 and 4 4 is the length what is the length when we are starting from 2 node 1 2 3 4 here also it's 4 here also it's 4 when we are starting from 0, what is the length? 1, 2, 
थ्री फोर एंड फाइव सो मिनिमम वी हैव टू रिटर्न द लेंथ ऑफ द शॉर्टेस्ट शॉर्टेस्ट पाथ दैट विजिट एवरी नोड so these parts these two parts are covering every node see 0 1 0 is also covered 1 is also covered 2 is also covered 3 is also covered and this is also the shortest path 4 this is also the shortest path but this is not the shortest path although it's covering every node 0 is covered 1 is covered 2 and 3 are covered but it's not the shortest path its length is 5 right so we have to return 4 so output for this will be 4 that is the length of shortest path length fine i hope you understood the problem let's see another test case so see guys we will we will see how we can approach the problem because that is what it matters like dry run also we will see so see this test case let's not draw here so this test case let's take uh, this one we have 0 1 then we have 2 then there is 3 and here it's 4 3 and then 4 and here something like this is given right yeah so see now they have they have told in the question right they have said in the question that we can start at any at any node and we can stop at any node so we have how many options we can start from 0 we can start from 1 we can start from 2 3 or 4 fine let's see each path uh so if we start from 0 from 0 we will go to 1 because there is only that option 1 then from 1 we can go to 2 we can go to 4 also so let's go to 2 so we go to 2 then we can go to 3 then there is no path from 3 to we have to go back to 2 and then we go to 4 so see all the no, all the uh, nodes are covered right 0 1 2 3 4 so this is one path if we start from 1 from 1 we can either go to 0 or we can go to 2 so let's go to 0 first so we go to 0 and then we come back to 1 again because from 0 we cannot go anywhere so we go to uh, 1 again and then we can go to 2 then we go to 3 from 3 we go back again to 2 and then we go to 4 so see this is one path from 2 uh, if we start from 2 so 2 we can go to 1 we can go to 0 then we come again back to 1 and then from that we can go to 4 2 and 3 something like this we can do and 3 uh, from 3 we can go to 2 then we go to 4 let's say then we go to 1 or what we can do is uh, yeah 3 2 to 4 then 4 to 1 and then we go to go to 0 from 1 we can go to 0 fine and from 4 what we can do we can go to 1 we can go to 0 then we come again back to 1 and then we can go to 2 and then we can go to 3 fine now see see guys here what how much is the distance 1 2 3 4 5 5 is the distance how much is the distance over here let's so this is the test case we are seeing right here is 1 2 3 4 5 5 and 6 So see, this could not be the answer. Six could not be the answer because we have already got five. This here one, two, three, four, and five and six. So this also is not valid. This is not valid. One, two, three, four. This is four. So this could be our answer because five is not now on not our answer now because it's obviously four is less than five, right? We have to find the length of shortest path. and this is 1 2 3 4 and 5 so this also will not be so see this is our answer that is 4 so output will be 4 one possible path is 0 1 2 3. so yeah you can start from 0 also so from 0 you can go to 0 1 4 2 3 something like this you can do so there could be many paths right there could be many answers uh here our answer one answer could be like when we are starting from three node there could be one more answer where you are starting from 0 that is 0 1 then you go to 4 then you go to 2 and then you can go to 3 something like this you can do right this is also four lens so see guys from this what i am trying to say what i am trying to say is just think what you can do 
first of all we can start at any node we can start at any node this is one observation second is that we have to we have to find the length of shortest path right we have to find the length of shortest path shortest path now you might be thinking that what we see we have to traverse the graph and we have to find the path of the short like shortest path we need to find so that is the clear that either we will use dfs that is depth first search or we will use breadth first search but now the question is what should i use see answer we can get from both the approaches but see here we have to find shortest here in the question is given to find shortest so whenever it's given a shortest or minimum length then go for bfs that is that is breadth first search go for breadth first search because breadth first search will give you the minimum the uh, minimum path more quickly like more early or you can say more quickly because it's algor it's it's designed in such a way that it gives you the shortest path early than dfs depth first search you have to use breadth first search answer will come will both with both depth first search also will give us the correct answer but therein we have to do a lot of optimization because depth first search works in a different way that it goes into deep and you know uh, so both have their different work so over here we will be using breadth first search we will be using breadth first search right so i hope that is clear why we are using breadth first search now if for this question see if you are not aware that how breadth first search algorithm works so i will highly recommend watch the uh, uh, algorithm first like how it's uh, how it works then only come to to this problem right so see in depth in uh, breadth first search dfs we have a queue fine we have a queue and we work on the queue until queue becomes empty so that is what the bfs is right and in bfs initially we add in the queue the starting node we add in the queue the starting node right <coughs> that is if we are starting from zero node we add that if you are starting from uh, uh, whatever we are starting from we add that in the queue initially now over here see over here we can start from any node so i hope you guessed correctly yeah we will be adding all these nodes in the queue initially because all these could be our answer like our answer could start from all of these nodes fine so i am erasing this second yeah so see what will happen na this is like this is bfs or pro, uh, problem only it's nothing uh, much than that it's just that there is one optimization which we have to do here in order to uh, solve this problem right so see we will take a queue we will take a queue so this is our queue fine queue and initially we will add all the nodes in the queue right so uh, we will uh, in the queue now we will add this thing so if we are adding zero node zero we will add zero and along with that what we will add so this pair we will add in the queue right so zero we are adding and then we will be adding the distance that is the current distance like how much is the length of the path as of now length of the path that also we will be uh, keeping along with it and we will be keeping something called as a mask mask fine now you might be wondering why we are keeping this mask right let's discuss that so if you are aware that why we are using mask then you can forward to the dry run part uh, otherwise you can continue so see over here guys see we have to stop when we have visited all the nodes right when all the nodes are we when in our path in our path when all the nodes are covered right all the nodes are covered then we have to stop 
we have to not go any further because what we need to do we have to just return the path which is covering every node right right so let's take an example we have let's say uh, we are starting from 0 and we go to 1 then we go to 4 we go to 2 we go to 3 now at 3 we have covered all the nodes now we will not again go back to from 3 to 2 why to do that fine we have we will stop here because we have covered every node this is our answer just this this is the path the shortest path that covers every node fine now we need to know somehow na? we need to know somehow that when we reach 3 we need to know that we have covered all the previous nodes that we have covered 0 also we have covered 1 also we have covered 4 and 2 for that we are keeping this mask so this mask is let's say uh, there are how many nodes 1 2 3 4 5 there are 5 nodes na? so there will be this mask 0 0 0 0 0 0 5 zeros this will this zero will be representing the zeroth node this will be the one node this is second node and this is the third node and this is the fourth node if we have see here we have visited zeroth node na? so for this mask this will be set to one so what this what does this tell this tells that we have covered we have covered the zeroth node because it's one when we will go to this one node we will set this one this bit to one so this will tell us that zeroth node and first node are covered fine then when we go here four this will tell us so for this four we will set this zeroth bit to one because for this four now this number one zero zero this number one zero zero one one this tells us that zeroth node is covered one node is covered and fourth node is covered now we just need to find include these two and three nodes in our path fine so for this we are keeping this mask so when this mask will turn one 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 all the five ones means we have covered in our path in our path we have covered all the nodes because all bits are one so for that when this is happened like when this is all our ones so we can stop we can stop here that okay we have covered all the nodes and this is our shortest length this is the length fine why we'll get the shortest length in the starting only because this is bref, bref, uh, bfs right so in the bfs we'll get the uh, uh, like the shortest path in the starting only because that is what the algorithm is fine so that's why we, keep, we are keeping this mask so every time see guys very important every time see this is our mask right how we will create this mask we will uh, we will discuss that also but every time we visit a node we are visiting one so in the mask in the current mask so if we are following this path see right now we are at zero we are at this zero initially our mask will be zero 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 something like this when we are here this mask will turn to this which will tell us that zeroth node is covered then we go ahead na? so then this mask will turn to this that is 0 and 1 node is covered now when this mask will be equal to 1 5 ones because there are 5 nodes then when this mask is equal to this ones this 5 node 5 ones then we will stop and we will return the distance this distance how much is the distance fine this is how we will approach and what we have to do is uh, over here yeah this is the thing now let's see how we will make this mask so the main like the final mask will be one 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 this thing right five ones so how this will be created this will be one left shift n minus one this is will be the all mask means all bits are ones what does this mean left shift means see what does left shift mean when we write uh, x left shift y something like this 
so this means 2 raised to power y multiply x so this thing will mean 2 raised to power y is n minus oh sorry multiply x is 1 see x is 1 so this means 2 raised to power n only so 2 raised to power n n is what how many nodes are there how their nodes are 5 total which are 0 to 4 total nodes are 5 na? so 2 raised to power 5 minus 2 raised to power 5 minus 1 this minus 1 2 raised to power 5 is what in bits 1 0 0 0 0 0 this is 2 raised to power 5 32 if you represent 32 into bits 0 1 so this will be like this na? this is a 2 4 8 6 and 30 yeah and then you do minus 1 so this will give you 1 1 1 1 1 5 1 when you do minus 1 I, if you are not aware how uh, you can subtract in bits then please watch uh, please go through that also so when you subtract minus 1 from this you will get this that is 5 1 which is what we wanted so this is how you will calculate the all mask right so this when all, when our current mask the current mask will be equal to this mask then we will stop see right this is i hope you this understood this so in the code let's see code also side by side so uh, here is the total nodes n and this is the all mask we are creating one left shift n minus one so this will be one 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 five one fine and uh, now see now what we will do let me erase this i hope you are getting what we are doing as of now so also you have you understood uh, how why we are using mask because we need to know that we have covered all the nodes or not right so this is the thing now what we will add in the queue so in the queue what we will add in the queue we will add the current uh, node that is i then we will add the distance how much is the distance as of now and the mask current mask so initially when we are adding this zeroth node zero comma the distance initially the distance we will add as zero only so initially distance will be zero comma the mask and what is this mask this mask so if we have see if we have covered this zeroth node if we have covered this zeroth node what should be the mask zero 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 one this should be the mask na? that is this is telling us that one uh, this one uh, this zeroth node is covered because it is set to one so this will be what how you can write it it will be one left shift n or you can say one left shift i one left shift zero i is zero here i is zero that is for this this is for zeroth node this node one so two raised to power this is y two raised to power zero into one that is two raised to power zero and two raised to power zero is this one fine so here you will store the mask the what we are doing is we have taken this queue and it is a pair so these are two items this is one full item and this is one this is zero zero index and this is one so it's a pair of int integer this i is integer and this is again a pair pair so here we are storing the distance and here we are showing the mask so integer integer so this is what we will store in our queue and we will have a set this is for visited so in the set we what we will be storing we will be you will understand why we are taking this visited also so in the we will be in the visited array so this is the visited array in the visited array we will be storing a pair so here will be the node and here will be the current mask mask that is i and the mask so we are going to each node because we we discussed right if you remember we discussed that we will be adding initially all the nodes because all the because the shortest path could start from all of these nodes so initially we will be adding all these nodes in the queue so we are going to each node 
and we are calculating the current mask for that node so if we are at uh, 2 so mask will be 1 left shift i i is what 2 so 1 left shift 2 is what 2 raised to power 2 raised to power 2 into 1 that is 4 so for 4 what is the mask 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 this is the bar fine so we are calculating the mask for that ith node and in the queue we are pushing that node with the mask initially distance will be zero and we are visit adding in the visited also that node with the mask this is what we are doing see i hope you understood till till this what we are done what we have done so yeah now let's go further right so let me make the queue again so queue will be something like this initially we will have first of all we will push i comma this in the queue so in the queue we will have zero comma distance which is zero initially and the mask so for zero mask will be what 2 raised to power 0 that is what 0 0 0 1 so 1 will be the mask fine so this binary we are converting into integer and we are storing that then we will add so then the loop will uh, i will be 1 so we will add this one node that is we can start from this one also so this will be 1 comma 0 comma the mask so if we have starting from 1 means 1 will be covered so for that mask will be 2 raised to power that will be see 1 raised to power 1 left shift 1 that is 1 left shift i so it will be 2 raised to power 1 into 1 that is 2 so 2 so it will be something like this 0 0 0 1 0 this is showing that the 1th node is uh, visited like covered fine similarly for 2 also this will be there 0 comma for 2 it will be 4 right similarly we will add 3 also and 4 also in the queue we will not do the entire dry run see that will take a lot of time so I'm, I'm just giving you an overview how this algorithm is working you can dry run by yourself right so see we have added the initially initial nodes in the queue now we will start the classic bfs this is a classic bfs right while queue is not empty we will pop from the queue the first node so in the queue from the queue this is popped 0 comma 0 comma 1 right this is popped so first of all what we will check right uh, what we will be doing is we will be going to each neighbor right this is the bfs we will be going to all the neighbors of zero so we zero has only one neighbor so we'll go to one right we go to one so new mask how new mask because see now we are going to one so one will be covered we are currently at zero and our mask is this one mask is this now one that is zero 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 one this is the mask now when we go to one node then this this bit this bit is also covered now because we have gone to one so this is also covered so for this one for this one what will be the mask it will be this that is it it is covered now we have to do what we have to do or of these two so that here 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 one can come so or zero plus uh, zero uh, or comma one or will be one so rest will be as such so this will be the new mask this will be the new mask which will tell which is telling us see this new mask is telling us that zero and one are covered zero and one nodes are covered so this is new mask the current mask whatever the current mask is this was the current mask right this one was the current mask um this was the current mask and we are doing or of that mask with the mask for the uh, this neighbor node which is one that is one left shift shift the neighbor node see one left shift the neighbor node so that will be this this one and then we are doing or so this is the new mask and if the new mask is equal to all 
right it means if this mask whenever this mask will reach 1111 1, if it is equal to this all all wala like all one so then we have to return distance plus 1 so distance will be having one less so we have to return distance plus 1 you'll understand when you will try in this thing right as if what we can do we can check whether this node and this mask is already covered if it's already in the queue like if somewhere somewhere in the queue it's already present this uh, this node and this mask so why to again add in the queue because this will be covered only na why to again add in the queue further in future so then then we will just continue otherwise if it's not in the queue so that is c uh, over here what will be the new uh, this thing it will be n uh, one comma the mask mask is what zero zero so this mask is what zero uh, this will be three now if you convert this binary into integer this will be three so this one comma three will not be in the visited uh, visited uh, set because visited set will have this thing we have not drawn the visited set so visited set will be see visited set will be something like this uh, zero comma mask for one like mask for zero then it will be uh, one comma so it's, it's this is not visible one comma two two is the mask then for two it will be four something like this will be there right now this one comma three there where one is the node and the three is the mask current mask this one this is not in the visited right so we can add it so we will add in the visited and we will push that in the queue as well and distance plus one we will do with the new mask and the new neighboring node so this will be added in the queue so in the queue what will be added comma the neighboring node which was one the distance will be zero plus one one and the mask which was three so this will be added in the queue fine so see guys at a point of time you will you can dry run once this algorithm at one point of time we will get all the so see what will happen now we will have we, are, we will get this path we will get this path uh, 0 1 2 so we were going from see if you see the test case 0 1 we were going to uh, 4 then 2 and then 3 right so 0 1 4 2 3 this will be the path but when you will reach 3 now you will get all the mask as 1 1 1 so that will be equal to this new ma uh, all so then you can return distance plus 1 fine so I hope you understood the problem right uh, this is the function which will be given to us and we can just we have we are making this helper function fine I hope you understood the problem and the approach uh, it will be more clear if you dry run right uh, here the thing which we have learned in this problem is that how we can use a mask how we can make a mask to store whether this node has been visited or not fine whether this node was earlier visited so if there are c if there are 0 to some n minus 1 nodes you can store it as bits so this will be the zero uh, this bit will be corresponding to zero nodes then there will be one node then there will be two nodes three four like this so if this is set to one means this node is covered so this you can use and you might be thinking why we are using visited uh, set this thing because we do not want let, let's say in the future uh, to take a test case let's say in future you got the same same thing 2 comma 0 comma 4 something like this again you get so that you will not again push in the queue because we have already taken it here why to again push fine so this is to avoid these cases visited uh, set is being we are using that fine so guys i hope you understood the problem and the approach uh, main focus for like i wanted to focus more on the approach in this problem uh, dry run part we can all do by referring the code so let me know in the comments if you have any doubt found the video helpful please like it subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next video